two in the morning, all of a sudden his right brain kicks in. And ultimately that was sitting up here saying, maybe that'll work. He wakes up, he jumped out of bed, he wrote down the wrong date, and he actually misspelled diabetes. Writes down the famous hypothesis, and it was the seed of the rest of the story. Without the artistic side, Fred Banting wouldn't have the vision. Fred Banting's artwork, it's not a well-known part of the story, but it's an integral part of the story. The artistic element that Fred had helped him to discover insulin. We're in the uh, hallway of medical building. Graduating class of 1917, U of T. And we've got Banting graduating. Well, Banting was an interesting character himself. He grew up on a farm, farm life. He also uh, was an artist. He was sketching stuff and, you know, drawing. There's all kinds of old sketches. He, sketching how they made soap. The family, if they didn't have it, they made it. For Banting, it was an uh, escape. He wasn't the kind of guy to be spending time wallowed in scientific journalism and stuff. He was sketching pictures of his professors as they were teaching. He was very tuned in to that side of himself, back and forth between being a good doctor, but also, you know, very sort of empathetic to patients. The artistic circle around the group of seven in the early 20th century was very much interested in ideas. Art is a way of seeing something differently a close observation that yields a different um, sense of seeing. Definitely something I think where the interests of the group of seven and Banting would have met. Banting was just in a very unique place at the time. He'd been a surgeon in the war, was wounded, and also kind of frustrated. When he got through the war efforts, I think the sketching merged into doing a bit of painting in London. And you can see the evolution from sketch to paintings. Fred wasn't happy with this version, so it looks like he broke it over his knee and went on with another one. Out of the war, failed to get a job they wanted in Toronto. He has no money, his practice isn't working, so he ultimately is fail, 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 fail. And so he gets a job to lecture. And he was asked to do a little class about carbohydrate metabolism, and diabetes. You can see that Banting is not a 19th century chronicler of the landscape. It's not just about describing the landscape, but it's also kind of feeling it or the sense, the intensity. This farm friend that my father talked about, her name was Jenny Victoria Jordan. As Fred entered university and went to university, she came down uh, as a type one diabetic. She was 14. They were in adjacent farms. On trips home, he would go over and talk to her on the porch. He basically watched her die, and ultimately when she did, he was a bearer at her funeral. So he had that burned into his soul, watching a diabetic die long before he came up with a bright idea. Diabetes was not that rare, so he was aware of it, aware of its, its impact personally, especially on the child. With Banting's work, what he saw unfolding in art uh, clearly must have had a very specific relation to how he also felt about his own scientific work. There have been a lot of other researchers before. They knew the pancreas was the issue. He knew a bit about it, but not a lot. So he sort of crammed, <laughs> uh, did a lot of reading. 
And so he went to bed, kind of all this stuff kind of in his brain, woke up at two in the morning, and he wrote down the idea. Ligate the pancreas, try to extract it, and then test it. Dr. Banting earned the Nobel Prize medal in 23. He started painting with A.Y. Jackson in 27 and passed in 41. If you think of the prolific output. Insulin is a big, big, big deal for Canada and for everybody, so he's feeling all this. He had an idea that the, the lab needed to be captured. It's the only painting of the lab. He's again a country doctor, he's happy just to be with uh, Jackson and everything else is out in the outdoors and you know all over the place. STEM, science, technology, engineering, medicine, that's all great. But I think an important lesson from, from this insulin story is STEAM is vital. I mean the importance of it, the A, the arts, the humanities, sort of the ephemeral, the hard to kind of define, but the creative spirit the humanity of it all brings that all together.